Hey everyone, welcome. This should be a pretty simple video because all I really want to do is talk about one important attribute that you should know about and understand a little bit on how to work with it. And that is the ID attribute. Now if you don't know anything about attributes, be sure to check out the previous video. And obviously if you're new to this series, I'd encourage you to go back and watch the whole thing. So that's definitely what you want to do, but either way, let's get started. When you select something, on here you can see that over here there is this ID and in this case it is blank now does it matter that it's blank well currently no it doesn't really matter because it's serving its purpose the only purpose this thing has right now is to say hello world yay it did it but later on we're going to want to reference this view so we can modify it or work with it inside of code and in order to do things dynamically like that we often want to grab things using the ID. So let's take a look first at the XML. If you select text down here and you can X out of or minimize this stuff down here, uh, we can go to text and it should show up right here, but it's not, there's nothing about an ID here. You can see these other properties or attributes. I should say we have the text attribute here and you can go in here and you can change that and you can see how it changes over here on the right. But there's nothing about an ID. So you have one of two options. So you have two options, I guess. You can do one of them, which is to set it manually in here, which I don't really recommend, but I'll just show you how it works just so we can get some use to the syntax. Say ID, and then just say hello, like so. And it obviously uh, doesn't really like that. So let's maybe get rid of those. Mm, see, I can't even do it right. Like. This is why you don't do it in the XML, because for one, it's just more work. So let's go back to the design, and we'll go over to the ID, and we'll just say hello. And we'll see what it generated. So go back to the text, and oh, you can see it actually is a little bit more fancy. It has this at plus, which we'll uh, probably get in that later. I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I don't, I don't even know what that means. But it's a thing. You'll see that with the ID, and you can see that this is what the actual ID value is. Now, just for a little sneak peek, you'll probably get to see this later on in the code. Um, so you might see something like r dot um, uh, id, yeah, and then dot, and then hello. That is how we can get a reference to that object or to that view. So this view here is actually an object, and when we talk about it in code, we'll probably refer to it as an object. Now, I'm just kind of jumping into the deep end here, so don't worry about that too much because we're going to be getting into that in the upcoming videos because we really can't do any cool dynamic applications without working with the IDs and understanding a little bit how to do that inside of the code. So we talked about first how to do it in, in the XML and inside of the design, and next we're going to learn how to work with it inside of the, the code. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode because we're going to get into more stuff. Thank you. I'll see you then.